I've got a simple way to get even more out of your mid-journey video footage. Let's call it HD+. But what exactly is that? In this tutorial, I'll show you how the HD mode works and what I mean by HD+. In my last tutorial, I was able to broaden my view of the AI video landscape even further. And I can tell you this, the results we get from mid-journey video are among the very best AI video can deliver right now. No exaggeration. That's true for animated characters, illustrative scenes, photorealistic shots, and even simple sketches. My latest comparison also confirmed that Seadance Pro is still a great choice, a solid sparring partner for areas where mid-journey video still has a few small gaps. Some well-known platforms tend to oversaturate their output or struggle when it's not specifically about animals or people. And it's exactly this all-round capability that matters to me as a creative who's been working in corporate communication for nearly 25 years. With the new HD mode for video update, Midjourney has taken a big step toward meeting what users have been asking for. Low resolution has been one of the most common points of criticism, something I've seen myself in both platform comparisons and film projects like the Fenrin Throne. So let's put this update to the test. Midjourney describes it like this. HD mode delivers native 720p video with reduced pixel artifacts and slightly better motion. But it's about 3.2 times more expensive than standard video, only available on Pro and Mega plans, and it doesn't work in relax mode. I've split this test series into two phases. First, I'll create an image in mid-journey without changing any quality parameters, so we can directly compare the old standard SD video mode with the new HD video mode. Second, if you've seen my videos before, you know there's a parameter in mid-journey that can boost image detail several times over. The magic word is quality 4. Simply add dash dash q4 at the end of your prompt. I've made a separate tutorial on that. In this second round, I'll compare HD video based on a standard image with HD video based on an image rendered at the maximum quality setting. All videos were created in manual mode for a fair comparison. If I used auto, the AI would just do whatever it wants. Let's get started. SD mode on the left, HD mode on the right. Along the bottom, you'll see each clip at four times magnification. And that's where the real quality difference becomes obvious. Example one, it's June 9th, 1863. Not just another day. 11,000 cavalry at Brandy Station, about 10 kilometers northeast of Culpeper, Virginia. Mounted units of the Union and the Confederacy clashed in what is now known as the largest cavalry battle of the American Civil War. Example 2. If you know and love Australia like I do, you'll recognise the road trains and red dirt roads of the outback as iconic. Goldfield Highway, Great Northern Highway, Erie Highway. This is home to the friendly truckers. The prompt here was, the person tips his cap and smiles. Example 3. We're still on the fifth continent. A film legend most of us know was born here in 1979, along with its gritty, post-apocalyptic vehicles. A desert rider on patrol. The prompt, the camera orbits around the motorbike and zooms out, revealing a vast desert. The rider steers the bike to the left. Example 4. Back to America, to the early days of photography. The scene feels like a rural 19th century photo studio, complete with elaborate props and posed posture. Two raccoons sit for a portrait, clearly enjoying the unusual setup with suits and a Victorian-style dress. So here it is, what I like to call HD+. Now we have HD mode based on a standard image, left, versus HD mode based on an image at maximum quality, Q4, right. This way, you can prepare an excellent base image for your video. Pay close attention to the finer details. Example 5. I'm a big fan of Iceland. The landscape is defined by breathtaking nature and dramatic light, especially in summer when the sun barely sets. It's also a land of active volcanoes. The prompt here was quite long, describing every detail of a possible eruption. Example 6. For designers like me, this is pure joy. Bringing an architectural concept to life as a video. Whether it's a building, a trade fair booth, or something else entirely, you can showcase it beautifully. 
you don't even need a long prompt. Something as simple as, camera rotates around the building is enough. Example 7. You might already know my second film project, The Fenrin Throne. Link in the description. It's all about staging a mysterious world. Each clan sends its best warriors to face unknown dangers on the outer edges of the kingdom. The Q4 version here delivers a stunning base image. Example 8. A cyborg in ancient Egypt. Close-up shots of a face are where the high detail really shines. This is clearly where AI platforms have the most training data. Pay special attention to the mouth and the eyes, and of course to the rest of the fine details. With Q4, very good becomes excellent. My takeaway. Since I'm on the pro plan, I'm in the fortunate position to use HD mode. I recently did a cost check for the pro plan, breaking it down from monthly cost to the time needed to create one video job, four clips each, and then to the cost per single video. It was already pretty user-friendly, so if I have to pay a bit more for noticeably better quality and higher resolution, I'm fine with that. But I'm not here to push anyone into using mid-journey video or upgrading to a higher plan. Use the video AI platform that delivers results you're happy with. That's the right choice. I'm simply sharing my own experience and what this update does for me. Even if you're on a pro or mega plan, here's a useful note from Midjourney themselves. We think if you're making videos just for fun, it is not necessary or desirable to use HD mode due to the additional cost. Keep that in mind and don't set HD mode as your default unless you really want to because your credits will vanish fast. You can probably imagine where mine went while preparing this tutorial. One more note, if you use the double dash Q4 parameter when creating images in mid-journey, remember this, higher quality means longer render times and longer times mean more fast hour usage, which also means higher costs. If you want to know how the full video creation process works, check out one of my other videos, link in the description, where I cover it in detail. In this tutorial, I just want to add two things, how to turn on HD mode and how to download your videos. Because Midjourney sticks to its philosophy of constantly tweaking the user interface. First, how does HD mode work? Take any image you like and drop it into the starting frame field below the prompt bar. Then click the settings icon on the right to open the menu. Thanks to the starting frame, Midjourney is already in video mode here. On the right, you'll see the speed options, relax or fast. In my experience, Relax takes about six minutes to render. Fast about one to one and a half. At the very bottom, you'll see the resolution option. If you select SD, you can switch between relax and fast. If you select HD, relax mode disappears. From there, just type in your prompt. I chose manual mode here and hit the arrow icon in the top right to start rendering. My tip, write your prompt and first create the video in SD mode to see how the AI handles it. If it needs adjustment, tweak the prompt and only then render in HD mode. That way, you won't waste credits by jumping straight into HD. Second, how to download. On the main create page or the create video page, hover over your clip and right click to open the drop down menu. Here you can choose download for social, download raw video, or download GIF. The description explains what each one does. You can also use the icons above. To the left of the heart icon is download raw video. Next to it, download video for social media. And on the far left, a drop down menu with download and download for social. For HD videos, use download raw video or download in the drop down. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.